The Science Behind Time Travel Time travel is a widely discussed concept in philosophy and in science fiction. But is it really possible? What does physics tell us about time travel? Before we go in detail, if you consider this video useful, kindly subscribe to our channel. Contrary to common belief, traveling forward through time and traveling backwards through time work in two different ways. Let's first understand how time travel to future works. We know through the physics of Einstein's special theory of relativity that you can trade movement in space for movement in time. The faster you move, slower the time gets. Let's take an example. International Space Station is moving very fast relative to our Earth. For every six months on the space station, astronauts have aged approximately 0.005 seconds less than those of us here on Earth. This is called time dilation. Of course, this is a very insignificant amount of time, but it would be much more apparent if the astronauts were able to travel to closer to the speed of light. Interestingly, the effects of time dilation are fairly minor, even up to around 70% of the speed of light. However, once we reach 75% or so, the effects become dramatic. In addition to time dilation, the distances shrink in the direction of motion. Assume traveling to a point 10 light years away at 90% of light speed, it should ideally take 11 years to reach the point. To a stationary observer, it would indeed seem to take your vessel 11 years, but you would reach that point in only 4.4 years. If you were to return home from the speed trip, you would be almost 9 years older. But everyone back on Earth would have aged 22 years. So in essence, you've traveled 13 years into the future relative to your time and space. Let's look at another example. In the film Interstellar, Cooper and his team land on a large watery planet. This planet is situated very close to a supermassive black hole called Gargantua, which it orbits at 55% of light. So time is 61,000 times faster in the planet than the ship in the outer space. That means that one hour on the planet is equal to seven years aboard the ship. When the team makes it back to the vessel after a little over three of their hours, their friend had aged by 23 years. So in essence, the crew had traveled 23 years into the future. The science behind time travel to the past is incredibly complex and speculative, and many scientists suspect that it is not possible at all because of the issue of causality, including the grandfather paradox. Many have argued that the absence of time travelers from the future demonstrates that such technology will never be developed, suggesting that it is impossible. 